Hi guys, so welcome to the 14th part of the series on must know radiological images. I am Dr. Zainab Bora, your educator on an academy for uh, radiology. Today we want to look at three images which are all uh, involving the word empty in them. All right, so three empty signs we want to see today. So the first image that I am showing you is actually a T2 weighted MRI, a zoomed in image near the cell. All right, so this black area that you are seeing, this air filled sinus is the sphenoid sinus and just above the sphenoid sinus, this is the cell. So what do you see in the cell we notice that it is completely filled with CSF ain't it so this is completely filled with the white CSF so this is a T2 weighted MRI and you can see that the pituitary parenchyma which should have appeared somewhat like this is not visualized at all so what does this indicate this indicates basically that the CSF is basically occupying the entire cella and the pituitary is either atrophied or it is compressed. So this is the normal stroke of the pituitary while no parenchyma is visualized. And if we talk about this, what is this structure that you are seeing? This is the optic chiasma anteriorly and this is the mammillary body. This is the midbrain and this is the bone. So these are the midline structures that you are seeing on the mid sagittal plane. The most important part what is going on with the pituitary parenchyma and why is CSF occupying the cella? So this particular sign is called as empty cella syndrome. So this is what is referred to as empty cella syndrome. It can result because of any sort of pituitary uh, ischemia which results in hypo hypoplasia of the pituitary, right? So most commonly the kind of question that will come to you here is, a description of the Sheehan syndrome. So what would be given to you is a female who underwent postpartum hemorrhage, extensive hemorrhage, following which the pituitary underwent ischemic necrosis and now the female has hypopituitarism, failure to lactate, lethargy and a lot of these uh, and amenorrhea and all of the features of hypopituitarism and when you do the MRI you would find that parenchyma is not visualized and all you see is empty cell syndrome. So remember empty cell syndrome with Sheehan syndrome in particular. Apart from that one more context in which we can see empty cell syndrome is something called as idiopathic intracranial hypertension also called as pseudo tumor cerebri. A young female with headache would be described you would have history of vitamin A, vitamin D, tetracyclines you know and uh, she would have increased pressure of the CSF, so idiopathic intracranial hypertension which can also have empty cella. So remember these two clinical scenarios and this image which is empty cella. Going on to the next empty. So this is what is called as the empty thecal sac sign. So we are looking at a cross section of the vertebrae. So anteriorly you can see this is the disc which is hypo intense and posteriorly this is the thecal sac which is filled with CSF. So we are at the level of corda equina. Now this is what a normal corda equina looks like where you will see all the nerve roots on an axial section right. But what is happening here? None of the nerve roots are visualized. So this is empty thecal sac and this usually occurs in arachnoiditis. So anytime you have inflammation of the arachnoid, the inflammation of meninges, this can be post-operative or any sort of post procedure all right so if you've done a lumbar puncture intrathecal drug administration has been done for methotrexate or a myelography has been done you can have this inflammation which is called arachnoiditis and because of the inflammation we find that all the nerve roots are basically adhered to the meninges and that is why you don't see this thecal sac appearance which is called as empty thecal sac sign and finally, the one last MT that we are looking at on the brain, this is a CCT of the brain and you find here this triangle posteriorly which is nothing but the superior sagittal sinus shows a filling defect. It is not filling up with contrast. You see this hypodensity, isn't it? So this is superior sagittal sinus thrombosis. So this filling defect represents the thrombosis of superior sagittal sinus and remember this is seen on CECT and this is called as empty delta sign. Alright, so remember these three MTs, empty cella, Sheehan syndrome, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, empty thecal sac sign, arachnoiditis and empty delta sign seen with superior sagittal sinus thrombosis. So thank you so much. I hope this is uh, useful. Thank you. Bye.